Howdy folks, I figured it was time for a little update on my fuel production system. I've combined a couple of little machines onto this little trolley here. One of them is powered by a window wiper motor stolen from Chuck Norris's Hummer. It's the only thing I could find that was powerful enough for the job, I hope he doesn't mind. What it does is it powers two Lopomatic 9000s. There's one there, and his little boyfriend over here. They take turns at chopping, so when one is opening up, the other is closing. So each time one of them chops a fuel finger into a gasoline granule, it comes out into the collection buckets. It's a bit slow, but it gets the job done. It's nice and quiet, so that helps a lot too. Just as I finished building this mechanism and powered it up for the first time, I came up with a completely new design, which I'd like to try out in the near future. It would be approximately 10 times faster, even if the motor is going at the same speed. So I'll have to uh, have a good think about my new design. Alrighty. That's that machine doing its thing. The other half of the machine is an enhanced version of the fairly fast fuel finger fabrication facility. It now has a rear guard to assist in dust collection. There's a dust bin down there. And of course the machine itself is mounted up on the steel frame in such a way that it's a, a part of it. What I've done is I've made up a little computer here that registers the position of the slide. So we have a couple of micro switches and a couple of stops here that travel on the slide so when the slide reaches its limits, and the other switch, there we go, works these two LEDs. They serve as a diagnostic in case something goes wrong. As I have noticed that even though these switches are brand spanky new, they're floaty. So what the slide con controller does, this little computer inside this box, it simply operates the step motor, providing it with a stream of pulses to allow it to move forward and back in response to the switches. So we power it up. The beauty of the automation that I've got here means that I can uh, wander off and do other things while I'm getting my fuel cut. At the same time, it allows me to manually handle the fuel and sort it, looking for defective units to put back through the saw. As it is actually possible to put faulty fin uh, fuel fingers back down through the saw and get them converted directly into gas or gasoline granules. The whole thing drains 1,000 watts of power at maximum.
There's a nice long one. Yep, the saw does jam now and then. It's not perfect, but it usually recovers by itself. Talking of fuel, I've just received a massive increase in my existing supply. Let's just have a looky here. There's the original lot, which has become notably smaller since I've processed so much. And there's the new lot. And I'm told that there's a lot more coming. So I reckon there's enough here to last two, maybe three hours on my 13 horsepower generator. Talking of gasifiers, the gasomatic 9000 is slowly coming back together now. Turns out that the, all of the problems are being caused by the trolley being the wrong colour. So what I've done is I've raised it to 4 inches and painted it pretty red. That should fix the power production problems. But just in case it doesn't, I've made up a brand new grate, plus uh, a new shaker mecha mechanism that actually works. I've reduced the nozzle ring diameter from 9 inches to 5 inches and raised the restriction by 1 inch so it's now only just a little over 2 inches below the nozzle ring and the nozzle, uh, the uh, restriction is only 2 inches diameter now instead of the 3 it used to be before I have given this a brief firing run and yes it produces a lovely orange flare and when I run the gas through the filters I get a blue-white flare so I'm hoping that the engine, which normally occupies this space right here, will like it. I've got the engine in bits right now, cleaning it all out and making it look pretty and stuff, because I think that's the important thing, it actually has to look pretty or else it won't work. So um, what I'm hoping is to get all of this done and ready before winter, so I'll have the fuel I need. Talking of fuel, let me drag you kicking and screaming into the fuel storage department. It's a bit of a mess right now, but my plan is to store all my fuel here. Each of these pails contains 40 pounds of fuel. Each of these contains about 50 pounds of fuel. I've got nearly half a metric ton here, and my plan was to make a complete metric ton. I'll just have to see how that goes. As right now, that machine you hear grinding away out there is powered by the sun. And as soon as the sun gives up, I've got to stop. As it's not really a good idea to use a generator to make the fuel. Uh, if you see what I mean. So, uh, that's the state of play at the moment. It's uh, a lot of fun, this, I must say. And being automatic like this. Oh, it's great. I can go and have a beer while this is working. Sweet! Okay, fellas. Here's hoping I didn't bore you to tears. Cheers and beers, fellas.